Now the first property of zero we're going to talk about is taking any value, we'll call it a, and adding zero to it and getting back that same value. So basically the sum of any number and zero is that same number. This property is called the additive identity. Now instead of addition, let's look at multiplication. If we take any real number a and multiply it by zero, we end up with zero, and we can say that anything times zero is equal to zero, and this is called the zero product property. Now this is no joke, anything times zero is going to equal zero when you're dealing with real numbers. Next, we can envision a scenario where we have two real numbers, we'll call them a and b, and their product is equal to zero. Now, we're going to say that if a product equals zero, then at least one of the terms, either the a or the b, must equal zero, since we know that any number times zero is going to equal zero. So if a was equal to eight, then b would have to equal zero by the zero product property. Or if b may be equal negative two, then a would have to be zero by the zero product property again. Of course, it's also possible that both a and b equal zero, since zero times zero still equals zero. So if we ever see something like 13x or 13 times x equals zero, we know by the zero product property that x has to equal zero. So just remember that the zero product property ensures that the product of any number and zero is always equal to zero. Hi everyone, Anthony here one last time. Hope you found that lesson to be helpful. And if you want to help us out, please like the video and subscribe to our channel. We're committed to adding new video lessons every week, and now would be the time to subscribe. So I really hope that you would consider it. And also, don't miss your chance to download your free practice worksheet that's included with this video lesson. Just click the link in the description below and you can get your download. Hope to see you all soon. Bye!